When you're focused on the breath, <clears throat> you have to be looking in two directions at once. One is keeping your gaze on the breath, and the other is to keep an eye out for any disturbances that may come up in the mind. You have to take it for granted that there will be these other thoughts coming up, and you want to be prepared. And so the beginning it requires that you look back and forth. The John Lee's image is of a pulley that, with the line of the pulley, pulls back and forth. You focus on the breath, and you focus back on the mind, make sure the mind is with the breath, and then you come back, get with the breath again. So that even the slightest inclination to go will be immediately apparent. And then you can decide what to do with it. It's not that you wait until the mind has wandered off and found that you're 30 miles away. You want to know before it happens that the mind is getting a little uneasy with the breath, or a little unsettled. And then you have your choice of, of weapons, of how to deal with a problem. But always be on the alert that the mind will have this tendency to wander off, especially in the very beginning. You have to be really careful. As you get more and more absorbed in the breath, and the breath becomes more comfortable, and the, your sense of awareness spreads to the body, then it becomes easier and easier to catch those little wanderings of the mind as they're about to happen, because you're fully aware of the, the range of your awareness in the body so that any little place where the tension that might start building into a thought would develop, you can see it. You can go out and zap it right away before it forms anything. And part of the mind will want to know, well, what was that thought going to be about? And you say, you don't have to know. Just leave that un unexplored. Come back and explore the breath instead. And so try to develop this full range of awareness as quickly as you can, but you can do it only when the breath starts being comfortable. If you start spreading uncomfortable breath sensations around the body, then you're just making things worse. So try to be more careful, getting the breath comfortable. And as soon as it's comfortable, then spread everything. That puts you in a good position where you can be with the breath and yet also aware of what's going to be approaching you from any direction. That way you protect the concentration as it gets stronger and stronger.